Remember how much this mug was? No. I think it's like, one, a fiver. Yeah, good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're all doing really well today. So it's actually the afternoon. It's 10 past 12 and I'm so excited for today's video. We're going to be sorting out all of the autumn stuff and I honestly can't wait. This weekly vlog has definitely turned into more of like day vlogs but I'm not mad about it. I don't mind. I hope you guys don't mind either. But today I just wanted to do a nice cozy day at home going through all of my autumn decor and yeah, just sorting it out. I think I do need to sort the garage out a little bit as well so we can do a few runs to the tip over the weekend. So today's video is very just cozy at home organizing autumn kind of vibes. So I really hope that you enjoy it. I don't know if you can see no you can't but I've got a few boxes of my autumn stuff just down here so I'm going to go ahead make a coffee and then we can dive straight into it I've bought so much stuff like over the last few years but I don't think I need any more autumn decor and I can't actually believe I'm saying that to be fair I have bought a few more things this year but I haven't gone crazy and I don't think I'm going to be buying anything else but I wanted to go through everything just to make sure that I've got what I need when it does come to decorating because I don't want to leave it too late. Realise that I'm missing something that I really want to have. So this is more of like an autumn decorating prep with me. So yeah, really looking forward to it. So go ahead and make yourself a hot drink, get cosy and enjoy today's vlog. Now I've got my double chocolate mocha, which is absolutely gorgeous by the way. I'm going to go ahead and unpack that little lot. So let's just pop that down. That was a big stretch. That was a big stretch. Now, I don't know how much Max is actually going to let me get unpacked. So I might have to carry it on later when Rob's back. But I'm sure we've got more than this. I don't know why. This just doesn't seem like a lot. So when I go through the garage later, I might find some more. I'm just praying that there's not spiders in this because I'd die. So that, that can just be thrown over there. Oh, I forgot about this little gnome. How cute. So I had these last year up in my dressing room and I kept it very pink and girly. And then all of like the burnt orange, browns, autumnal colours I had downstairs. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that again because I've only got a few like pinky bits. That's really cute. But it's not for you. No, it's not for you. Oh, and then these, honestly, I have forgot pretty much everything I own. So let's get it unpacked and see what we've got. Oh my God, honestly, opening this box, I just got like a waft of autumn. It smells absolutely incredible in here. So I'm guessing it's these. Oh, that smells amazing. What one was it? Spice pumpkin. Did I leave the price on? No. But I'm pretty sure I probably got that from TK Maxx because I get most of it from TK Maxx. Um, excuse me, Maxie. What are you doing? I think I want to go through it and just see what I'm going to be using this year and what I know that I'm definitely not. Because we are going to be going to the tip at the weekend, I can then just get rid of stuff that's just taking up space. Oh, I forgot about this as well. Look how pretty that is. Honestly, I'm so excited. Like, I love summer. I'm still waiting, as you know, to go on my summer holiday. But, yeah, I just love autumn. Spice pumpkin again. Can't take the lid off. What's that smell like? Mm, it just smells so incredible. Honestly, it makes me want to get nice and cosy. Another candle another candle i mean i'm obviously not going to be getting rid of any of these candles look how pretty that one is with like the leaves and stuff oh i'm obsessed it's things like this am i keeping these oh but then these might be good for outside like out the front door we had so many trick-or-treaters on halloween last year it was unbelievable and i think it's because we put lights up it was the first year that we put lights outside and honestly it was like we had 20 kids at a time knock on the door every two minutes it was crazy so i think i might do that 
again we will have to get more sweets because i did underestimate how many kids would be coming and we ran out so i felt really guilty so i'm gonna pick up more sweets this year so i mean things like this do i use that i mean is that even autumnal i'm not really sure why that's in the autumn box i'd say that's more like springy but then i got these from ikea i think and i'll definitely be using those probably in like that vase up there just to add that pop of color and then i got this from ikea as well and it comes with like a little hangy bit so yeah i mean my clearing out is just not working is it i'm gonna have to narrow it down let's have a look in that box and see what else we've got excuse me this is what it's looking like i really hope that you can't hear the washing machine too bad in the background that's why i'm wearing my uh, trusty little microphone to hopefully block some of that out but this is what i'm working with max has already stolen a pumpkin haven't you huh Are you stolen a pumpkin but i don't think i'm going to be keeping those ones anyway which is why i'm letting him destroy it it was just like a diy one that i made last year out of socks but i'm trying to like think but I think I'm going to try and organise it in rooms and then when I pack it all up and I come back from holiday I can literally just whack it out and know like where everything's going. So if we come around here, so these are what I think I'm going to get rid of. I don't think I'm going to be using these this year but I'm really undecided whether to keep them just in case but I'm not really sure where I'm going to put them. Um, everything inside I am getting rid of. I want to try and keep it quite like natural looking i guess this year and obviously a lot of this is not natural looking but i want to get rid of these because they do just look fake and kind of awful so i'm gonna get rid of those these were my diy pumpkins it's missing like the stem stalk thing whatever it's called um so they don't even look like pumpkins anymore which is why i'm letting max destroy one but yeah, I forgot about a lot of these. I mean, even cups like this, they're not necessarily autumn, but I feel like they work perfectly for autumn. So I pack them away with the autumn bits anyway. And I think having them stacked like that, I'm going to swap them out with the ones that I've already got stacked. But I mean, look how pretty this is. Like I forgot pretty much all of this. I don't know if to keep this one. I mean, it's fake looking, but at the same time, it kind of blends in. And my trusty bird book so this is what i used to use on the coffee table like in um my wooden tray so you couldn't actually see there were bird books like i sort of had them like that i mean this is absolutely let's just take that off because there's really no point of having that on anymore um but yeah sort of stacked like that with one of those over the top so you couldn't see that it was a bird book but it had like the autumnal um like colors but i don't think i am gonna do that again this year and um, now we've got like new vases i love that vase so i think i might just pop in some like autumn stems and things like that try and keep it a little bit more simple this year and then i found these like how cute is that again it's just like a little autumnal thing i thought with black spoons would look quite nice i'm going to keep that just in case i want it with in my like coffee station setup because i thought that could look really nice i am going to keep everything that's in there as well um what ones are these may as well keep these i just like the textures i think that's why i like these i mean they're very plain and simple i got them from ikea but yeah i just like different textures in autumn winter and then coming around here this is the bucket that we had for the trickle treaters don't know whether to get rid of that and get a new one because it's broken and then these i still really like these so i don't know where i'm going to use them but i'm going to keep them just in case and then around here we've got a few bits that i'm going to pop in my dressing room i don't want that room to get too like overwhelmed with all of the colors you know so i want to keep it very girly up there 
Oh, and also I have these. I had to put these out of the way because Max, for some reason, couldn't get enough of them. But we've got these little pumpkins I thought were really cute. So when I've got different stems in there, I'm just going to like pop those in or on the coffee table or something. This is one that I can get rid of. And then I've already got like the spiced vanilla, which I don't know if that's actually like an autumn candle, but it smells incredible. So I am keeping that as well. And then this will be in the front room somewhere as long as Max doesn't eat it. But I'm pretty sure I've got a few more bits in the garage. So yeah, let's go out and see if there's anything else hidden amongst all the crap. This is why we need to clear the garage out. Like there's a little walkway and then it's this, which is insane. <laughs> um so i'll be doing that also i don't know if it's all going to be in this one or my next vlog it's probably going to carry over because there's so much stuff i mean all of the bedding like all of that there these here i think there's more down here that's all going to be going tomorrow and i want to sort of free up these shelves and just have autumn christmas because there's a lot of stuff on here that can just go like none of it is actually anything we use or oh, we could use these though so we've got this little squirrel which rob actually is in love with he loves this so this is definitely going to be part of the decorating this year as well as this one and i don't normally like this sort of thing but rob likes it so we'll have that out as well it's more like halloweeny than autumn but it still works I don't know why I thought I had more than this like this isn't enough but I'm sure I've got more so I'm gonna have to go back and watch my previous like decorating videos for autumn and see if I am missing anything more stems might be the way forward I might pick up a couple more of these I think I got these from the range and I know that they've got so much autumn stuff out already so we might actually nip there either tonight or tomorrow so saying this vlog is going to be like a day vlog i don't think it is i think i am gonna have to carry it on tomorrow and pick up a few more bits um so i may as well like include that in today's video because i'm not going to be picking up enough for like a whole separate haul video that is what i am gonna do i'm gonna get rid of these because i do feel like i'm a little bit of a hoarder also last year i did have a console table out there and that was all decorated and i know that i've got blankets and cushions in there for autumn and they went like under the cabinet it was actually the console table that i've got over there now with my coffee stuff on so everything that was out there is now going to be in here as well so hopefully i've got more blankets and cushions and stuff because the sofa's just so bare and i don't like it when it's just so bare so yeah hopefully we can make that nice and cozy let's just stop my rambling Let's go through and try and organise this little lot. And I take you in. I've been falling, calling. When I reach out. Okay, I am so glad that I picked up some more candles and pumpkins the other day. Um, I showed them in a previous vlog, so I won't bore you and show you them all again. But yeah, I counted them and I've got about eight for this one room. And I know eight seems like a lot, but I've got like both of the um, shelves to do, the radiator cover and this big cabinet behind me. So... I need all the pumpkins I can get at this point. They're not all fitting where I kind of hoped they would. I did swap out the boxes and put like all the kitchen stuff in the shallower one, thinking that everything else would fit in this H&M one, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another box and sort of put, I think I'm gonna put all of the candles in this one and then hopefully the rest of the pumpkins in this one, looking at it, that's not going to fit either, to be honest. I don't know who I'm kidding, but I do have a lot more boxes in the garage if needs be. But I don't know if it's easier. Oh, 
that was a bit loud. I don't know if it's easier to try and fit them all together in one box or just have loads of different boxes. Okay, so it's a bit later. I've been like batch filming TikToks and Instagram reels and stuff. So yeah, I got a little bit carried away with that. But this is where we're at with the organizing and I'm actually quite pleased with it. So this box here, let me just turn you around. Okay, so this one here is just for the kitchen. I've actually just kept all of the mugs and things in this one. I have put one pumpkin in there because I just love the color of this for the kitchen. So I know that one's gonna be in the kitchen. So that's the kitchen box over here we've got the pumpkin box which is obviously the biggest because I'm a crazy pumpkin lady at this point I do have a couple of ornaments in there as well but then everything else all the way down there is pumpkins and then I've just popped this blanket in and over the top just to protect them a little bit so that is the pumpkin box over here except for these because I don't really know what to do with them but I don't want to get rid of them because I'm pretty sure I will use them maybe like within the cabinet but then this one is all of the leaves and garlands and um yeah basically what's it called what word am I looking for wreaths that's the one I've got a couple of wreaths in there as well but yeah I wasn't sure whether to keep these but I thought I may as well just keep them in the leaf box just in case so that's that one and then I've got my candle box and to be honest I thought I'd have more candles than this but maybe I just need to buy some more I do have another one up there and to be honest I don't really need that many candles I'm not going to get through that many in like a couple of months so I think that should be plenty and then this one is for my dressing room because I want to keep like all of the burnt orange and browns downstairs and then this can be the colour palette for upstairs so just a few bits I don't want to overdo it upstairs but I still want to have like a little touch of autumn especially when I'm doing like my sit down videos up there to have that in the background it will be really pretty and then these are just the little bits that I'm getting rid of it doesn't look like much and again I wasn't sure what to do with the crates should I keep them I don't think so I think I'm just hoarding them at this point like there's really no point in keeping them if I don't love them excuse me but yeah now I just need to whiz round stick the lids on these and sort of sort out the front room it's not too bad but I just want to spruce it up a little bit. Okay, so it's the next day and it didn't really go to plan. Ignore Rob pottering around in the background. He's packing for holiday, which I've mentioned a thousand times already. I wanted to take you shopping and show you like the new in autumn bits, but it's already Christmas. Home bargain and Primark. And then I also did pick up something from the garden center but i didn't like film that because they're such small sections so the first thing i picked up from primark is this little pumpkin candle how cute is this so this was four pounds and it smells really nice it's just oh i thought it was a one wick it's actually a two wick candle it might go on the coffee table i'm not really sure where to put that yet but that's really cute how cute is this mug how much is this do you remember how much this mug was? No. I think it's like five. One, a fiver? I think it was like one ninety nine. <laughs> was that a fiver? Sure. I don't think it was a fiver. I think it was like two pounds. I don't know, but they've got really cute ones. So I picked up the one with the squirrel. They've got one with a hedgehog and then they've got another one as well. I can't remember what it was, but how stinking cute is this? And then Rob noticed this one, a light up pumpkin. I've not actually looked at what it looks like yet. Oh, it's just a different colour on the box. It's oh. Not... <laughs> so I, I went for the white pumpkin and then 
open it, it's actually still an orange one, but my god, can you see all the cobwebs and stuff on that? Oh wow, it'll still look nice. So it's just a little candle, really not what I was expecting to be honest. Double which was so really terrible with prices, but I mean, is that nice or am I just sucked in because it's a pumpkin? I think it's nice. Do you think it's nice? Yeah. Plus it's an LED one as well, so it's not going to burn the axe then. No, that's true. I just thought, I don't know if it's on the tacky side, but at the same time, it's a pumpkin, so I kind of love it. I am disappointed that it's not white because you've got boxes. That, this one has obviously the white one on, and then there's another one with an orange pumpkin on, so I assumed it would be white. But it is not. It is orange, so there's that. And then the final thing I picked up from the garden centre is this. It was only $9.99, which is an absolute bargain. So I didn't film it when we were in there because there was actually quite a few people like around and it was such a small section. But I have done like Instagram reels and TikToks and stuff, so I'll leave that link down below. Just a little shameless plug so you can go and follow me over there as well. But I thought this would be really cute like in my wooden dough bowl on the coffee table maybe like paired with this i don't know but anything pumpkin and i'm like a sucker for it i don't know why so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here it has ended a bit abruptly it's not quite how i thought today was gonna go i thought we were gonna have like a really nice big like shopping autumn vlog thing but every shop we went in had the smallest section. I mean Home Bargains have got like two rows of Christmas and I am just, I love Christmas, don't get me wrong, but I am not ready for that yet. So I, I'm still, I'm still in the very autumn, I'm still in summer, but I'm still sort of embracing autumn. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe using the red subscribe button down below. Leave today's video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys back here in my next one. Bye guys.